this is Dr. Jeffrey Lyman with the Orthopedic Specialty Institute. I'm here to talk about patella dislocations and one option for the treatment for that condition. People with a history of patella dislocations usually start with an index event. This is the first time their patella dislocates. It often happens in the teenage years, but can happen much later than that or even earlier. One thing that virtually all patella dislocations have in common is an injury to the primary stabilizing structure of the patella, which is the medial patella femoral ligament. In this model, the medial patella femoral ligament spans the interval between the medial aspect of the patella and the anterior aspect of the femur in this location. Kneecap dislocations frequently begin when the knee is in full extension and the kneecap is either hit or misses the trochlear groove as the knee begins to bend. As the knee bends, it slides out of the groove and sits in a laterally located, dislocated position. The interval that was usually much shorter than this is now stretched dramatically and this results in an injury to the medial patellofemoral ligament. The first step in the medial patellofemoral ligament repair procedure is to confirm that the kneecap is unstable under anesthesia. In this case, the kneecap is dislocating. The next thing to do is to do a diagnostic arthroscopy. This is to make sure there are no loose bodies or intraarticular injuries that can be seen and fixed at the time of surgery. In this particular case, the patient had suffered significant cartilage damage to the back of the kneecap as a result of repetitive dislocations. Next, I isolate the medial patellofemoral ligament. In this case, that was done at its femoral origin. I could tell from the MRI scan that this was the site of injury for this particular patient. Once the medial patellofemoral ligament is isolated, a suture is placed into it in order to pull traction on the ligament to make sure that I can prevent the kneecap from dislocating. By pulling on this stitch, I can prevent the kneecap from dislocating under anesthesia. This confirms the site of the ligament injury and also confirms that by repairing it in this location, I'll prevent further dislocations. The repair is performed by putting a suture anchor into the bone and then redocking the ligament to the location of its original anatomic origin. By repairing the medial patellofemoral ligament back to its original anatomic location, the kneecap can no longer be dislocated and is now stable. Finally, the repair is oversewn with a vicral stitch and the skin closed. The entire incision is about two and a half centimeters long in this case. A local anesthetic is administered around the incision site. The knee is examined and the kneecap is no longer unstable and I can bend the knee through a full range of motion. After surgery, most patients are weight bearing as tolerated. I frequently prescribe physical therapy for four to six weeks to regain quad strength and range of motion. Some patients need physical therapy for longer than this. The use of a brace is sometimes helpful for patients that are going into unpredictable settings such as a high school. However, most patients don't require the use of a brace postoperatively. Most patients return to full function within four to six weeks of surgery. This is Dr. Jeffrey Lyman with the Orthopedic Specialty Institute in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Thank you for watching this video on the treatment of patella dislocations.